this has to be the most hidden gem of the whole of Slavia. Even after 9 years living here, I never heard of it. Well, I don't know about that book. The author deems it as the best view in the whole Oslo area. I personally would have think it's either Grefsenkolen or Kolsostopen, so I had to check it out. Well, myself and kid number two, as you can see. First, we need to get to Vatstad area on the outskirts of Oslo. Easiest is probably to take the train to Vatstad station. The start of the hike is about 10 minutes away by foot, so it's pretty simple to get there. It's going up already though, not so much, but I feel it with the co-pilot behind and the big backpack today. Well, I spoke a little too fast. Here it's pretty difficult. A lot of rocks and going quite up here. I really feel the backpack now. Looks like my copa took a pose now. Okay, now we made it to the first stop. It was quite steep as I could see on the map before coming here and it was a bit hard. All right, that was the first stop at Grosetkolen. The view is already super nice from there. And she will get right on time. One of the things I love hiking in the forest is the sound of the forest. Beautiful in there. Hands down the best view in Oslo, no doubt about it. It's way better than Kolsos, way better than Grestenkolen. It's definitely come here, people. <laughs> it's difficult and <laughs> it's not the easiest hike, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, the book was right. It's the best one. <laughs> As part of the trip, we go back down the hill, but obviously we can't just go straight. So just have to do a little detour and we should be there pretty fast. Like I thought the path down is really steep, but way faster on the way up. Now I just walk to the train station and we're done for today.